Hello everyone, this is Somnath Gowder from Future Coders. In this video tutorial, we are going to be building this responsive image gallery using HTML and CSS in under 5 minutes. As you can see guys, this is what we will be building in this video. This is going to be completely responsive guys. As you can see, this is how it's going to look in the last screens. If I reduce the screen size, as you can see, it switches to two columns now. And if I reduce it further, it switches to single column. Guys, I haven't used any media queries in this video tutorial. This is happening all because of a single piece of code which I wrote. As you can see. Okay guys, this is what we will be building. And before we start building this, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to leave a like on this video. So let's start building this. So let's start building it. I have already generated the boilerplate of our HTML and also I have linked the local CSS file. And the images which I will be using in this project, you will get them from the description below. So let's start building it. And I have also opened the file in the live server. So let's start building it. It's very simple guys. First I will define a container. Inside the container I will create an image container. Inside this we are going to have those 10 images. So let's define the first one image. The source is going to be the images folder and the first one. Let's copy 10 more times sorry 9 more times. And Let's change the images. Let's save it. So here are the images. Now that's it for the HTML part. Now let's move on to the CSS part. Here I will clear all the default margin and padding which is applied by the browser. Margin 0, padding 0 box sizing to border box and here i will also add a transition 0.2 seconds linear now let's select the container here for the container i will be adding some padding to rm to the top and bottom and five percent to the left and right there we go Inside the container, we have the image container, right? That this is the main part, guys. Observe inside the container, we have the image container, right? Inside this image container, we have these 10 images. So, here I need to actually, I will be using a property called as CSS property called as columns. Here, I will define the 15 rem and 3. Let me explain you what actually happened over here. This 15 rem defines uh, the length of the e each individual co each individual column, and this three defines the number of columns which I want. Okay, as you can see, and it's also going to be responsive, guys. Observe if I resize the screen here. As you can see, there we have our three columns. But if I reduce the screen size, as you can see, it switches to two columns all happening because of this single line of css code guys no need of media queries and all that's it and here i will also add a gap of 1.4 rm in between those images let's define the inside the image container we have the images right so let's target that image i'm gonna set the width to 100 percent as you can see there we have our images looking nice Let's, let's style it further. I will say margin to the bottom of 1rm. Okay. And let's also add some border radius of 0.7rm. Okay. And, for, and finally, I will add a little bit of hover effect. A slight hover effect. I will just transform scale. 1.01 1 
so when i hover on it as you can see it's gonna scale the image that's it guys there we have our gallery let me show you as you can see this is how it's gonna look in the last screens and let me show you the responsive part as you can see this is how it's gonna look in the last screen if i reduce the screen size it switches to two columns and if i reduce it further as you can see it switches to one column guys no need of media queries there we have there you have your own responsive image gallery in under five minutes guys thank you guys thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something something from this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also yes don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next one thank you for watching